Hello viewers, today we're going to have a conversation about false advertising on wireless computer network routers. This happens to be a TP-Link unit, but all of the manufacturers do this. This is not at all a video intending to deter people away from this product or TP-Link in general. I personally have used TP-Link routers for years and think they work quite well. This one does also within its limits which are not clearly defined on the product page. This is probably the worst example of false advertising I've seen yet. For pretty much as long as Wi-Fi has existed they advertise these various speeds I believe uh, wireless G was 54 and then B was 12 and then N is 300 and the, the problem with these claimed speeds is that they're theoretical they're not real and you will never in any kind of real world use case even an ideal real world use case come anywhere close to achieving the speeds it claims to carry. I would say getting even half of what it claims would be a stretch. And so so this unit claims to have 1200 megabits of speed available which is off to a bad start because you cannot connect a computer to this and get 1200 megabits to that computer because where they're getting the 1200 number is by combining the theoretical bandwidth of the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5.8 gigahertz bands together. You can see on the product page here they add 300 plus 867 and claim 1200 which isn't which three, 300 was 867 isn't even 1200 to begin with but they claim that adding those two gives you that amount of bandwidth and I think that's a very deceptive claim because if, so, if, if a network in thingy says it'll give you 1200 megabits and I know this isn't the case but the first thing that would come to my mind and probably to the average consumer's mind is you connect a computer to that router and you have a 1200 megabits connection and that will never happen with this model you have to read it more closely and say oh well if I'm using the 2.4 gigahertz band then I'm only going to get 300 and if I'm using the 5.8 gigahertz band I'm only going to get 867 okay so that's the first problem so I set this thing up and I'm using it and I'm expecting just from my experience of using routers for a long time I expect to get somewhere around 100, maybe 110, out of the 2.4, and, you know, maybe 300, 350 out of the 5.8. And the 2.4, I'm getting like 95 out of it. Reasonable. Then I go over to the 5.8, and it's exactly the same. It's okay, that's, that's not right. So, I knew because I had read the specifications prior I knew that the Ethernet ports on this unit okay one one through four here are only 10 100 so they're capped at 100 megabits per second they'll never offer a megabit more because that's what they call the fast Ethernet standard it caps at 100 I, I don't know why I thought that this port would be gigabit I guess because of the fact that it claims it can go faster than 100 but this port here where the in and out goes is a fast Ethernet port which means it cannot transmit more than 100 megabits per second and what goes in and out here comes in and out here and here so if you're only putting in 100 it doesn't matter if the 
wireless connection to your computer is 8 trillion and 74 megabits per second, you'll never get more than you put into the thing. So they're claiming, their claims here, both of the 300 and the 867 are a total wash just because of the Ethernet port alone. And the asterisk there you see at the end of the sentence does not say that. It says some baloney about how these are only, you know, theoretical speeds or whatever. Um, you know, the coverage varies per environment or whatever. So they're not even, um, not even disclosing that. But this is just baffling to me. They built a product that has absolutely no chance of delivering what it claims to deliver. And how is anybody who doesn't know about this stuff supposed to know that? I forget where it said it. I'm pretty sure it says it on here. Um, let's see. No, it's you know what? It's not even saying. Yeah, right. Three times faster, but it doesn't matter because you can't get that speed into the, the thing. Um, it doesn't even tell you on here what the Ethernet specification is. I saw it somewhere. I know it's in the manual. Let's see if it's if it shows it on on Amazon's. Looks like it's pretty much the same um, thing. So they're really not disclosing this anywhere. So the deception just festers and festers here. Let's see if I can find any any trace of this. I mean, to me, this is so bad that the FCC and the FTC really need to get involved here and stop this false advertising. Most consumers that buy these things don't know what speed Ethernet ports are. So that's that's an issue in itself, but now I mean I know it there, but I can't even find where it says it. So even if somebody happens to know, you still they're not putting it out there. This is terrible. This isn't even the right uh, product. This is... That's something different. Well, anyways, I, I know it says it somewhere, but I can't... I can't find it at the moment. If you connect your computer directly to any of these ports, it'll establish a 10100 connection because that's all that the port offers. So... It's just baffling to me. I I, I know that the, the speed claims of Wi-Fi are bogus. Known that for a long time. That's bothered me. But this one is particularly bad because of the Ethernet ports.